Welcome to our short instructional guide on how to use the Enerfund web application. This video is designed to take you through the main functionality of the tool we're developing as part of a Horizons 2020 project. The project consortium, led by the Cypress University of Technology, is composed of 15 interdisciplinary organizations representing 12 EU countries. Enerfund is a tool that will rate and score deep renovation opportunities, like a credit score used by banks to rate clients. So let's take a quick tour of the tool, keeping in mind that some functionality is still in progress. First thing we want to do is go to the enerfund.eu website, where on the top right corner, we will find a button to uh, take us to the Enerfund web application. As you can see on the first screen, we're asked to select a country, and then on the drop-down menu, we have populated um, the countries for, for which we have the buildings um, geocoded with all the different uh, uh, data we found on the energy performance certificates. So for the purposes of this example, we will go to, to the United Kingdom, which is the more complete set of data we currently have. Once you click on Go, you'll notice the map take you over uh, England, and as you give it a couple of seconds to load, you can also see the color coding of buildings in a very, very kind of chaotic form, but somehow showing you where the reds are, the concentration of red buildings or green buildings, and so on and so forth. Now, at this level, it may not have as much use, but as you zoom in, you'll start to see uh, the level of detail that you might be interested in. So let's mouse over uh, the state of England. And as we do that, when we click, uh, automatically the map navigates us to, to, to sort of a deeper level. And now we're looking at regions. As I mouse over the regions, you can see on the top left par part of the screen, uh, the name of the region. So if I were to select Greater London and click on Greater London, we get navigated again over to a more uh, granular level, and now we're looking at counties. And again, we can see as I mouse over, the name of the county changes, but I also would like to uh, draw your attention to the bottom bar, which gives you breadcrumbs of where you've been, where, you, where you've come from. So we were in England, went to Greater London. In this case, I will click on the uh, county of London, and I will go even further into districts. And so now I can select a district, and I'm able at this point, let's say, to select the uh, city of Westminster. And again, notice the uh, bottom bar that shows you, again, where you've come from. So if I wanted to go back to London, I just click on London, and the map automatically zooms us out. So clicking back into London and city of Westminster, we begin to see sort of a more meaningful view of the different buildings that are populated uh, based on their color coding. At this point, you can do several things. Uh, one is to um, zoom in to get more detail about the individual buildings, but we'll look at that in a second. What we can do uh, also is go to the top right part where you'll see the three uh, horizontal lines, which represents the uh, symbol for additional information or a menu. And as you uncover that, you'll see that you have a bunch of options. Uh, you can select buildings that are from different ratings. So if I only want to see buildings that are rated D to G, uh, that have the potential to become an A building or the potential to become a B building. So I can select those accordingly or deselect them. I have the ability to select buildings based on efficiency, uh, on walls energy efficiency, so from very poor to very good. I can select roof energy efficiency, windows, and so on and so forth. And these different metrics vary depending on the country, which also depends on the database kept by that country and the various uh, institutions that uh, collect that data. You can also select uh, in uh, the UK for uh, based on the construction, the area in square meters. So you can just drag this up and down. Uh, and it gives you some basic information about the country, sort of the ease of starting a business, for example, is above average. And these are different uh, rating skills that we are developing as a consortium. Now, every time you make a selection or you, you choose a type of filter, you need to remember to go back to clicking on filter so you can once you do that, the, uh, the map reloads only to show you uh, the buildings that are um, applicable for the filtering you've imposed. So for instance, if we want, only wanted to see buildings that are E to G, we click on that and you can now start to see where the concentration of these buildings is. Let's go back to the normal view so we can have all buildings in our field of focus. What you can also do here now is go to this arrow, click on it so, it, so that you can hide the menu and have a better uh, scope of view uh, with the whole map uh, on your screen. Now at this point, we, we can't click again to zoom in, but what we can do is either use our mouse, like I just did, or you can use uh, the plus or minus buttons uh, that are on the top left part of the screen. So one of the things that happens once you zoom into a, a more detailed level, uh, the buildings start to 
also indicate the energy performance rating uh, with, a, with a label of A, B, C, D, uh, all the way to G. And so what you can do at that point, and only when you can see the actual rating, you can click on a building, and what happens is it loads it into the comparison tool that's on the bottom left part of the screen. If I click up, I can see the actual address of the building, uh, but I can't compare anything yet because I only have one building. So if I were to select a second building, let's say one with an energy rating of E, now I have two buildings here, and by clicking on compare, the screen loads into this sort of uh, uh, table view that allows you by virtue of, uh, of following the, um, the highlights of each row to be able to compare uh, the different aspects and parameters of the building. So total floor area compared to from the one building to the other and so on and so forth. Now let's try something else. What if we wanted to compare a building in, in London uh, with uh, a building in Sofia in Bulgaria? So what I will do now is I will minimize this. The buildings are, these two buildings that I've selected are both kept into my uh, basket here for comparison. I want to go back to England. And there we go. Uh, and at this point I can either navigate uh, with, uh, by dragging onto the map or I can simply go back to my menu and select a different country. In this case, I want to go to Bulgaria. So now we're over Bulgaria and we can quickly do the same thing we did while being over uh, England is by selecting a region. Uh, the tool allows us to zoom in. We give it a couple of seconds to load the different buildings. As you can imagine, there's a lot of different data points to load. Uh, and again, we zoom into the different uh, city borders and districts. Uh, and as we do that, we reach a level where we need to then manually zoom in to find individual buildings. And let's select this building here with rating E, uh, and maybe this one here with a rating C. If we click on compare, what you can see here is uh, are the two buildings we selected from England, uh, and then next to them, the buildings from Bulgaria. And as you can see, the row is highlighted only where the data is um, similar. So country, total floor area, potential rating, and so on and so forth. And unfortunately, we don't have the same amount of data from each country. Uh, not every country keeps all, these, uh, in, all this information in the same way. So we are collecting as much information as we possibly can to be able to, to, to draw comparisons where possible, where the parameters are equal. Uh, what's important to note is that this uh, table, this comparison table, scrolls from the left and uh, to the right, and you can add multiple buildings here, and you can do the comparison and draw the insights that you wish to infer uh, for the different buildings. You can also go back to this view and remove buildings, and then click Compare again, or you can clear the buildings completely and begin to load your comparison basket all the way from the beginning. So this is the quick tour of the functionality of Enerfund as a tool. And we're in the process of doing the ranking of buildings based on a developed methodology. And feel free to contact us for more information on how we can further tailor the tool uh, to match your needs. Thank you very much.